Welcome to Pentacool.com's Language Lab. Today we are going to dive into the rules of verb tenses. Verbs help us talk about actions and verb tenses tell us when those actions happen. Are you ready to explore the exciting world of verb tenses? Let's get started. There are different verb tenses that help us express actions in different times. Let's begin with a simple present tense. In the simple present tense, we use verbs to talk about things that are happening currently, regularly, or facts that are true. For example, I play, he eats, and we study. The present tense of verbs can also end with S or ES. Some examples are looks, watches, cooks, and touches. In the sentence, she walks to school every day, we use the simple present tense verb walks to describe the regular action of going to school. Now let's travel back in time and explore the past tense. In the past tense, we use verbs to talk about actions that have already happened. For example, I played, we studied, they jumped. In the sentence, they visited the museum last week, the past tense verb visited tells us about the action of going to the museum in the past. The past tense of regular verbs are formed by adding ed at the end of the verb, like jumped, walked, talked, and laughed. Of course, if the verb already has an E at the end, we simply add a D. For example, smiled and tiled. If the verb ends with Y and has a consonant before the Y, the Y is changed to I, then the ED is added. Example, carry to carry. In some verbs, the final letter is double before adding ED. Example, hop to hop. The past tense of irregular verbs can be 1. A change in vowel sound. Example, write to root. 2. A total change of the word. Example, teach to taught or go to went. Or 3. No change at all. Example, cut to cut or hit to hit. Let's leap forward and discover the future tense. In the future tense, we use verbs to talk about actions that will happen later. For example, I shall play, he will eat, we will study. In the sentence, she will go to the park tomorrow, the future tense verb will go tells us about the action of going to the park that is going to happen in the future. Remember, you can always use will to talk about future actions like what you will do or what others will do. Shall is used for suggestions or invitations, but we often use will for these too. When talking about the future, you can use will for most things, but if you want to suggest something fun or use a more formal invitation, you can use shall. Now, let's see if we can identify these verb tenses in sentences. I eat breakfast every morning. In this sentence, the verb I eat is a simple present tense as it describes a regular action that happens every morning. She played with her friends yesterday. And in this sentence, the verb played is the past tense as it tells us about an action that happened in the past. We will visit the zoo next week. Lastly, in this sentence, will visit is a future tense which tells us about an action that will happen in the future. Well done, my amazing language explorers. You've learned about verb tenses, simple present, past and future. Remember, the verb tense helps us to talk about when an action happens. Keep practicing and soon you'll become a master of verb tenses. Thank you for visiting the Language Lab today. Try the exercises on penacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.